Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining us on Cinema Recap. Glad to have you here. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2020 action superhero movie called Project Power. Spoilers ahead. We open up with Biggie on a mission to release a special pill into the world, a pill which can do wonders to ordinary people. Starting in New Orleans, he welcomes a group of people, referring to them as young entrepreneurs. Kind of looks like SoundCloud rappers mixed with YouTubers from a 2015 era. Now, Biggie offers him pills to sell. This pill can grant anyone power for five minutes once taken. And these powers are unique to each person's body. One of them in the crowd, this guy named Newt, is a little more curious than the rest. And he goes to ask Biggie more about it. But all he says is that the pill is called power. But I ain't seen no blood at all. Now, after that day, the New Orleans Police Center receives a bunch of calls from different people about weird things happening to them after taking a certain pill. Six weeks later, the pills are all over the city. With different dealers buying and selling them, there's no law and order in place for it. The possibilities are endless. Now, Robin, a young schoolgirl, has three of these pills with her. She's a dealer, goes by the codename Bird. Two guys come by and ask for one, and she asks them for 500 bucks. They find that bargain laughable, and then another guy joins them and starts hitting on her. Pretty soon, they take the bag and the pills. Then a man comes up revving on a bike and stops him. Frank holds up his badge, letting him know he's NOPD. He tells them to get on their knees and put their hands behind their heads. One of them activates the pill, holding it close to his mouth. Frank, all nonchalant, challenges him to go ahead take the pill. And when that boy hesitates, Frank snatches it from him. He lets three boys free and pretends to handcuff Robin. Turns out they're on the same team. Looks like Frank and Robin are buddies. Just trying to live the playing field. And he pays her for the pill that she snatched from the boy earlier and keeps it for himself. Be careful with that. Now Art, also called The Major, is in search of Newt. He finds the address and goes knocking on his door. Newt peeps through, half-open door, gun pointed out at Art. Reassuring him, Art says that he was sent by Simon. Well, Newt still doesn't open that door up. And Art tells him, hey, call up Simon and verify for yourself. So Newt walks away to do just that. And in the meantime, Art breaks in intelligently and cautiously takes a look around the house. Some of the walls and floors are broken apart, and he opens a door to a room to find an alligator in there. Kind of those questionable things you find in college dorms. Maybe not alligators, but close enough. Now, Nude hears Art walk in and runs to hide. One side of Nude's face is all burnt and deformed, and he sits down on the floor, activates a pill before taking it. His body starts to flame up from the inside, not before long his entire body's on fire. He goes to fight with Art, but Art jumps the building and escapes. When Newt feels his power slow down, he takes three more pills and swallows them to go catch up with Art. Now hiding in the bathroom, he prepares himself with a wet jacket. Newt runs in and he grabs him with the jacket, dunking him into the bathtub, Art forcing a name out of him. But he doesn't get much because his body overdosed and exploded. Now Robin's mother, Irene, has been sick with extreme diabetes and is in need of surgery. They're struggling to make ends meet, which explains why Robin's involved in that business. Now the news shows a fire breakout and Irene recognizes it as the place where Newt lives. Later on, Robin leaves for school, lets her mother know that she'd be back at night with prescriptions and soup for dinner. So we see that Robin isn't really interested in school or getting good grades. Her exposure to the real world and the hard truth of reality made her ambitions different from the rest her age. And she texts Newt, asking if he's okay. Unaware of his death, obviously, and how his phone is with Art, while not wanting to grow suspicious, Art responds to the text. And she asks him to meet her at the usual place, still assuming it's Newt. Now there are cops on standby outside a bank for armed robbery. Frank gets there, asks what's going on, sees two men talking to the captain. Now the cops are asked to stay low and not engage with the robber, but Frank decides to take the guy down himself. Secretly, he takes one of those pills 
and times his watch to five minutes. He walks in the bank from the back door, walks right past the robber, using his power like a chameleon with camouflage, blending in the surroundings. Frank goes to help the hostages, but is attacked from behind by the robber. And he goes to chase the robber, but it's hard to see and aim and shoot at this guy. Not really sure if this guy's running completely naked or just really good at shape-shifting clothes. And when he finally catches the man, Frank's gun slips out of his hand and the robber takes it. Shoots Frank in the head, but the bullet bounces right off. That's a pretty neat power for a cop. And Frank has a few seconds left on his watch and takes that robber down, punching him hard. The five minutes are up and the captain asks him to stop. Later on, the captain asks Frank if he took a pill today. And when he finds out the truth, he tells Frank to give up his batch and gun. It was out of desperation Frank took the pill despite being a cop. You know, he wants to change all this. Help the people in New Orleans find out who's behind all of it. The captain seems like he's feeling the goal. So he lets uh, Frank work alone at his own risk. He gives Frank a photo of art. Who is he? telling him that he was the guy to be found to put an end to all of this. Now decoding text messages, Art's waiting at the nearest fast food place in the area, hoping that's where Robin would come in search of Newt. The odds are in his favor, because at the end of the day, Robin's looking for Newt. And when she doesn't find him, she leaves and sees her bike tires punctured by somebody. She goes to walk her bike home, but Art grabs her from behind, throws her into the trunk of his car. Now in need of more pills, Frank calls Robin, but that call goes to voicemail. He leaves her a message to meet at the usual place. All the while, Robin's here trying to escape from the trunk. Art knows exactly how to get her talking, bringing up Irene and threatening to go after her. I'm gonna kill your mother. And that was enough for Robin to start spilling all that she knew. She calls a number that was given to her in case of trouble. The person on the other end of the line asks her to meet at the supermarket, giving her the code alligator wine. Art drives her there and tells her to do exactly as he says. Meanwhile, Biggie's planning to expand his little business. He meets up with new potential investors, promising them a demonstration to see the impact of this power pill. So at the supermarket, Robin walks up, says the code, and she's called in by a guy. Disclaimer, don't try this at your local Asian supermarket. She tells him about Art and the man's furious, pounding his fist against the table. He takes a pill before he sets his watch to five minutes. He tells Robin to stay there and goes out to fight Art. The man shouts loud to get that truck started, but Art shoots him and also takes care of the rest of them. Art gets in the truck and then makes sure Robin's okay. And then flashes of his daughter Tracy appear in place of Robin. In the truck, they find a database with a lot of people in it. Now, each pill sold had a chip inside of it, and all these people were being monitored by whoever was behind this master plan. That means I'm running out of time. Art finds out about the demonstration being held for new investors somewhere in New Orleans, so he plans to go there. I gotta go there. But remember the guy that took the pill? Yep, there's still a few more minutes left on the clock. The bullet shot by Art seemed to fall right off that guy's body. And he attacks Art once again, although Art manages to kill him. He's shot in the shoulder and falls unconscious. And the next thing, he wakes up and Robin's stitching his wounds. Her mother was a vet, so she knows a thing or two about taking care of this. Maybe not human wounds, but we're all mammals after all. And when Frank goes to meet Robin at her house, he sees two guys interrogating Irene inside and quickly ducking down before they see him. He sneaks into the bathroom through the back window. The plan was to pretend to be Irene's boyfriend, so he takes his clothes off, walks out in a towel. He plays that part quite well, and the men decide to get out and drive off. But not before Frank attaches a GPS to their car and follows them. Now Art empathizes with Robin. He knows she can do better and find a better path in life. And then she shows off her rap skills, making him genuinely impressed. You're good. Damn good. Clearly, there's a soft spot there, and after insisting, he lets her join him to find the bad guys. Now, Robin learns the real reason why Art's trying to get the source of the pill. The organization was in search of his daughter, Tracy. Now, this organization called Telios was the one that started it all and was the source they had to get to. 
Tracy had exhibited extraordinary powers without taking any pills, and because of that, the people at Telios wanted to use her. Simply put, capitalism at its best, and Art took responsibility as a father and fled with his daughter. On the way, he was met with an accident when men started chasing him, and he had to helplessly watch Tracy being taken away. You okay? Ever since then, he's been searching for her and trying to find those people. Art stops at the location, follows a man to the Telios private demonstration party. Making sure Robin waits outside, he knocks out a security guard and smoothly walks in. Yeah, that's my name right there. We got rich kids, drug lords all under one roof. Biggie proudly talking about the pill and how it adapts its power from animals and their natural survival tactics. They're soon aiming to create a pill that lasts more than just five minutes. A lifetime. Trying to bring the competition to the Avengers. Frank shows up at the location. And when he sees Robin, he's asking about Art. Inside, Biggie's prepared a test subject because he wants to convince these investors that don't look it just yet. The demonstration would take place with a girl taking a pill inside a big enclosed glass box. What's gonna happen to me? And as she's doing it, he announces that her power is thermoregulation. For those of you sleeping in science class, it basically means that she can adapt and endure through extreme external temperatures. You're welcome. Biggie switches up the temperature levels in the box and there's ice being produced from her bare hands. Everyone watches in fascination. But the show comes to a stop when Art comes up at Biggie, holding a gun to his head. He threatens to kill him in front of everyone if they don't drop their weapons. Why use guns when you can turn into a superhero with a pill? Well, one of them activates that pill and swallows it. But that doesn't end well because, well, his body explodes. Yikes. A fight breaks out. Amidst the chaos, everyone forgets about Elsa in the box. The girl inside starts to lose control over her power and her body freezes to death with no way out. I don't know. Art shoots Biggie's hand when he doesn't give any answers about Tracy. From behind him, Frank walks up, asks Art to drop the gun. He does as he's told, but he turns and uses Frank's gun against him. Biggie takes the time to swallow a pill, and right after he does, his body bubbles up and expands turning him into a giant. Now we know where Biggie came from. Art and Frank both run and make it out, just before the place blows up, killing everyone. Believing that Art was the bad guy, Frank handcuffs him and takes him to see the captain. But a reality check with a pep talk later, Frank realizes that the captain was trying to set him up and was working with Telios. The pills were being made using Tracy, and all they wanted was to get a hold of Art. But Frank, true to his job, wants to save his city and the people, so Art devises a plan. They let the people capture Art and take him into the Telios cargo ship. He doesn't resist because he knows that's where he can find Tracy. Frank's about to follow him, walking onto the ship, and finds Robin, telling her to keep a lookout as he makes his way inside. You stay here. He's getting shot by the security guards as he goes to get past him, but the bullets aren't harming him. When Frank and Robin get into the ship, they discover the control room to access all doors. Using it to their advantage, Robin helps guide Frank to get Art. As somebody makes their way to the control room, Robin escapes. Going in search of Tracy, she finally finds her and helps her break out. Frank helps Art make it out, and he reunites with Tracy. But the celebration has to wait because they're under attack. Art fights alone, telling the rest of them to run towards the lifeboat. Robin, however, runs the other way to drop the overhaul ball to help Art. Unfortunately, she doesn't make it to the lifeboat, having been caught right after. There's one last pill in Art's possession, and he was saving it for the worst. They had to save Robin, so Frank suggests that he takes the last pill to go out there and fight. But Art refuses the offer. It's him that's going to take one for the team this time. With his hands raised, he walks out unarmed and negotiates to either let Robin go, or they all die. This isn't a negotiation. And when they disagree, he reveals the pill in between his teeth before swallowing it. And that power that takes over him has him blast each one of the bad guys off the ship. The aftermath of the strength makes him collapse. Tracy places her hands over his face, uses her power to save him, and the lifeboat gets them all to safety. So now a new life awaits ahead of all of them. Robin finds a bag full of money waiting for her in the trunk of Art's car, and she takes it home to her mom, 
with the can of soup she promised as well. In conclusion, stay in school and beware of drugs, kids. I love you, Mom. And that wraps that up. Thanks for chilling with us on Project Power, released in 2020 by Screen Arcade Productions, starring Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Dominique Fishback. I don't know, if this thing really existed, would you be interested in taking it? Let us know with that hashtag cinema recap in the comments. Thanks for watching. Till next time.